York County's newest business owners bring a lot of experience, some great flavors, and new concepts to some very unexpected places. We explore these unique business ventures and see what's hip and trendy in this edition of New in Town. By combining oysters and tacos with a unique, youthful dining space in Williamsburg, the owners of Casa Pearl are fulfilling a culinary dream with a menu of playful dishes that marry the Chesapeake Bay with Latin-inspired tacos and a dash of classic Southern flavor. The owners are husband and wife collaborators and culinary connoisseurs, Mikey and Chelsea Maximowitz, who not only had the vision for Casa Pearl, but the credentials to make it happen. Casa Pearl is located within a completely renovated Texaco gas station. Nothing more hip than that. In a corridor of the county, we are now referring to as the Edge District. We'll get back to that later. If you stop by, you'll find Chelsea in the front of the house as general manager and Mikey in the back serving as executive chef, cooking it up in the kitchen. The modern atmosphere is perfect for foodies, families, couples, and friends heading out for some fun and good eats. And during the warmer months, Mikey and Chelsea roll up the former gas station's garage door to create an additional patio drinking and dining space. The restaurant serves delicious dishes featuring oysters and tacos while using quality locally sourced ingredients, seasoned culinary expertise, and excellent customer service at every turn. Casa Pearl is located at 722 Merrimack Trail, right on the edge of where York County, Williamsburg, and James City County all meet hence the Edge District. It's not just because of the location, it's also where you can find businesses on the edge of the newest tastes and trends. For more information, menu and hours, visit eatcastlepearl.com. Nestled inside the Lightfoot Crossing Shopping Center is a new hotspot for Williamsburg locals to grab their healthy juices and snacks thanks to the arrival of Free Range Juice, a business targeted at providing healthy drinks and food options. The all-female owned business is looking to spread judgment-free healthy choices to the community through a juice bar. It was actually their love for health and wellness that brought them all together. Owners Lauren Halzik, Katie Henderson, and Kelsey Sanders first met as teachers at Studio South, Katie's yoga studio. The No Judgment Zone doesn't care if you're new to juicing or an experienced juicer because its menu caters to everyone. They sell a variety of different juice cleanses, cold pressed juices, healthy smoothies, lattes, bowls, and more. The owners also hope to eventually offer juicing courses and educational advice to interested customers. Free Range Juice is located at 410 Lightfoot Road. It's open 6.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday. You can find more information, including menu items, at freerangejuice.com. You won't have to travel far from Free Range Juice to find our next new business that's also in Williamsburg, where you'll find all the bling you need. Williamsburg Jeweler sells an amazing selection of new and consignment jewelry, but make sure you catch the owner, who shines just as bright as the jewels he sells. Owned and operated by Michael Fagan, Williamsburg Jewelers offers expert jewelry repair, design, sales, and more, all thanks to the leadership and expertise of Michael. He takes broken jewelry or a concept for a jewelry design and turns it into something special. And there's no shortage of hip and always trendy brand names, including David Yurman and Tiffany & Co. If that's what you're looking for. Find Williamsburg Jewelers at 2023 Richmond Road or follow them on Facebook for the latest specials and giveaways you won't want to miss. All that's hip and trendy is not just in the upper county. Located in the former spot of Dairy Queen and Chill Out on Hampton Highway, Donuts on a Stick is a new business concept just rolling in from the Outer Banks. Owners Stephanie and David Williams opened their first Donuts on a Stick location in 2014 in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. But after success there, they set their sights on expansion, with Hampton Roads native Stephanie looking towards where else? York County! While the first location in the Outer Banks focuses primarily on donuts and ice cream, the new location is bigger and better with an expanded menu that includes grilled items like hamburgers and fries. Donuts on a Stick is frequently flocked by people of all ages who are looking for a tasty Sunday at night or a cold ice cream cone to cool off from the sun. This hip new food concept is about creating a community connection through food like a donut milkshake or gluten-free Oreo donut. And of course, 
Every donut on a stick is made fresh and ready to order. Donuts on a Stick is located at 2809 Hampton Highway. Visit their Facebook page for hours, menu items, and of course, specials. In Seaford, you may recognize the name, but that's about all that's the same at Mills Marina. Thanks to its new owners, Kurt and Pamela Lang, who are attracting new customers and bringing new energy to the waterside business. Revamping a marina has been a goal for the husband and wife duo, who set their sights on buying and transforming a marina years ago. But why York County? They couldn't say no to Mills Marina's appeal that includes an on-site boat ramp and is just a quarter of a mile from the Chesapeake Bay. The pair bought the 56 slip marina in 2018 and opened after extensive renovation that reinvigorated the marina store, which had been long forgotten and closed for years. Now, the store is open for business, selling boating and fishing supplies, snacks, and ice cream. Needless to say, bring your boat down and enjoy a day at Mills Marina. You're sure to be wowed. Kurt also brings his talent as a skilled mechanic and plans to continue his boat repair business at Mills Marina. The marina at 1742 Back Creek Road is open daily 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. with extended hours during the season. For more information, find Mills Marina, like all of our new in town biz, on Facebook. Wow, that's a lot of new businesses and new owners ready to serve the York County community. And there's more to come. Join us next time as we help you discover what's new in town. If you are interested in owning a business or interested in a grand opening, call the York County Office of Economic Development at 890-3317 or go online to yesyorkcounty.com.